It's easy as a lab technologist or even a lab assistant to just see a, a tube of blood or a sample as just being that. And what I encourage my team is to actually see the person, that we need to treat those specimens like they are you know, potentially one of our loved ones and that we are going to make sure that we give it the best care, the best quality, the best uh, test that we can. There's five disciplines that I am overseeing. The pathology department, transfusion medicine, chemistry, hematology, and microbiology. Overseeing the five disciplines would include making sure that we have well-working equipment and meeting expectations of delivery of service to our physicians and our patients. All of our uh, daily tasks incorporate equipment. We use microscopes every day to look at cells, look at, uh, for crystals and urines. A big piece of equipment that we have up on the ninth floor is called a cryostat. We have freezers from minus four all the way up to minus 80. Things like a refrigerator, which some would think is equipment, is very important in the laboratory. Annually at St. Mary's, we perform around a million tests. So you can imagine when you are putting a, a million tests through an instrument, it is high throughput. Because we do our daily maintenance and we stay on top of our preventative maintenance with our vendors, that we keep our instruments running as best as possible. But it doesn't mean that it's current and fresh. And it might shock some of you. Some of our equipment was purchased in the 1990s. Some of our older equipment, our cryostat, is at end of life and so the vendor is no longer going to support it. A microscope, it is kind of a basic lab tool that we all use. The objectives on those lenses, they quite often have gases in them and so sometimes those gases, you know, just naturally leak out and they're not in tip-top shape that what they should be. But some of the newer microscopes have good ergonomics, some good um, ease of movement with their hands. Some of those older model microscopes, we can't just replace the objectives on them. They're, they won't necessarily adopt to an older model. It's, it's important that with time we replace those and then they're quite costly as well. Uh, future advancements that I see in the laboratory is us moving more towards the digital pathology or even liquid-based liquid biopsies where perhaps one day you'll just be able to give a blood sample and we'll be able to do preliminary cancer diagnostics. Uh, my message to the donors is that without you, we would not have the equipment that we do have. That there's about 60 to 80 percent of the uh, decisions that physicians are making are based on lab results. So when you actually invest in the laboratory, you're actually investing in your overall care.